Yo, what up family, you know who it is. It is your brother, Asad Malik from United Black America and the Pan-African Alliance. And let me tell you all something, I'm glad to be back behind this mic and in the classroom. Now, let me tell you why you're here. You're here because you're seeking knowledge of self. You know there's a library of books out there that you should be reading, but the problem is you don't have the time, even though you know good and well, the answers are in those books that you want to read. Books like The Destruction of Black Civilization, They Came Before Columbus, and The Dogon Mysteries. And another reason why you're here is because you're looking for a community of people just like you, that you can build with, share knowledge with, and unite with. Well, I got some good news for you, fam. Registration for our next live course is open for this week only what i want you to do is i want you to go to panafricanalliance.com forward slash enroll or just click the link in the description to see the full curriculum and reserve your seat for this six week long course look you only got about a week to register because we're only letting 60 people in this go round. and the best way for you to experience what this course is like and my teaching style is for me to play some short clips from the past courses then at the end of that i'm going to answer some frequently asked questions so make sure you listen to this all the way through it's not even that long come on fam uh but before i give you some sneak previews into um, what the course is going to be like let me tell you why you can't afford to miss this if you've read books like uh, knowledge of self by dr naeem akbar you know that knowledge of self is four things it's a knowledge of who you are how you came to be, the world around you, and your place in that world. So if you're looking for the truth about who you are, if you're seeking knowledge of self, then you've got to know the truth about your history. No, not history starting with slavery, not history starting with Nelson Mandela, not history starting with Jomo Kenyatta or Kwame Nkrumah, but all 300,000 years of black history. Look, if you don't have this knowledge, if you don't understand how the Dogon, the Dravidians, and the indigenous Americans relate directly to you, you're gonna fail to understand how you came to be. You're gonna fail to understand the world around you and your place in that world. And remember, those are all factors that contribute to your knowledge of self. So you need to attend this course, not just because you're gonna get the answers you've been seeking your whole life, but also because you're gonna be able to do that with brothers and sisters from around the world. If you've been a part of any of our previous courses, you know that we've had students from Sweden, Ghana, South Africa, and both of the LAs. Yes, Los Angeles and Lower Alabama. So no matter where you are, you can attend family. Now look, even if you can't attend live, every module is gonna come with an audio recording, it's going to come with the live stream video, so if you miss it, you'll be able to watch the video again. You're also going to get a free PDF or an ebook that you can download that's going to help you um, further understand the material taught in the course. Not only that, but you're going to get lifetime access to all of this. So even if you can't attend the live course, you're always going to have the course materials. Again, just click on the link in the description or go to panafricanalliance.com forward slash enroll for the full curriculum. That's all six weeks. All right, let me give you a little taste, a little taste of what you're going to get during the course. This is how we um, flow and glow. Here we go. This is part of our culture. Before we get started with anything, what do we do? We bring forward the ancestors and we thank them. Absolutely. We bring our ancestors into our circle. We're not talking about dead relatives. We're not talking about inanimate forces. When we say Ashe, Ashe is a life force and every element of the universe possesses this life force. Energy is neither created nor destroyed, it just changes form. It's one of the laws of thermodynamics. In fact, the first law of thermodynamics, and you all have heard that if you matriculated through the public school system. And so when we transition our life force, the essence that powers that machine of meat that you're inside right now, that essence is not destroyed. And so when we bring our ancestors into our circle, we are bringing that living energy, that Ashe, into our presence. Does that make sense to everyone? Ashe. 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 All right. Ashe. So when we look at the condition of our people, it can thus be said that white supremacy has colonized the minds, hearts, and the souls of black folk. And because white supremacy, along with other alien groups, have distracted you from the truth of who you are and have colonized your beliefs, they've taken control of the results that you manifest in the world around you. For us to criticize white Christianity would be inappropriate. 
when we practice the spiritual systems that other groups have adapted for themselves, we participate in our own miseducation. We cultivate an alien spiritual identity. So rather than us criticizing white Christianity because they've adapted that spiritual system for their own people, we should criticize our own participation in a spiritual system that was not adapted for us. Unailewa. 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 All right. So the Shepsu. The Shepsu are what we call in English the ancestors. In Ifa, we call them what? Igun. 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 So when you hear us use the words Shepsu, Igun, and ancestors, understand that we're using all three of those words synonymously. The Shepsu is the bridge between us and the Neturu. The Neturu form the bridge between the Shepsu and Nun. But by and large, Cuba is a black land. Cuba had a history of slave revolts. One in 1795, another one in 1798, another one in 1802, another one in 1805, another one in 1812, 1825, 1827, 1829, 1833, 34, 35 through 38, 39 and 43, and 1844 until finally they gained their, their independence in 1902. From 1795 to 1902, your ancestors fought against superior forces, not giving a damn whether or not they would live or die. All that mattered to them was their liberation. But we talked about the Ashanti. In 1900, Ya Asante Wa, an Ashanti queen and mother, launched what was called the War of the Golden Stool family. This was the last war in a 75 year long war. The Ashanti fought to keep their independence against the British for 75 years. In 1900, their faith started to waver. And so Ya Asante Wa saw their cowardice and she said this, I see some of you all fear to go forth and fight for our kings. If this was the brave old days, chiefs wouldn't sit down and see their king get taken away without firing a shot. No European could dare have spoken to the Ashanti chiefs the way that they have spoken to you. Is it true that the bravery of the Ashanti is no more? I can't believe it and I won't believe it. I must say this, if you, the men of the Ashanti, will not go forward, we, the women, will. I shall call upon my fellow women, we will fight and we will fight until the last of us falls in the battlefield, and they did. Shemhotep family, love you all. Love you all. Martin Delaney is the grandfather of Pan-Africanism. Why do we call him the founding father of Pan-Africanism? Because that's the man who created the very first Pan-African organization in the year 1897. Here's something else that I want to emphasize to you all, because we all are Pan-Africans here, right? Indio. 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 Because you are a Pan-African, there is an unbroken link between you and you inherit the legacy of Patrice Lumumba, of Mandela, of El Hajj Malik El Shabazz, of Kwame Nkrumah, of George Padmore, of, of Emil Cabral, of His Imperial Majesty Haile Selassie, of Walter Rodney, of Tolbert, of Sabukwe, of Azikiwe, of Gaddafi, all the way back to Henry Sylvester Williams, Edward Blythe, Marcus Garvey, and Delaney, stretching all the way back to Paul Cuff, and we continue their fight today. Now, I want to remind you that those are just short clips from hours and hours and hours worth of courses. So now that you've gotten that sneak peek, uh, here are some frequently asked questions. How long is the course? Okay, so it's a six week long course. Here's what that means. Every Saturday at noon Eastern time, it is Eastern time, so make sure the times line up for you. Every Saturday at noon Eastern time, you're going to click a link that I give you, and that's going to take you straight into the live course again you don't have to turn your camera on uh, these sessions typically last about one and a half to two hours and i say that because i've scheduled one and a half hours but we usually spend 30 minutes just building with each other and um, sharing knowledge with each other and how much does this course cost this is a 39 dollar course now i've had brothers and sisters you know get at me in the past and say oh, that's a little expensive for me 
go to a website called udemy.com and you will spend four hundred dollars for courses that do nothing for you so i'm not really trying to hear it i made it super affordable for everybody and uh you might want to take advantage of it again because we only have 60 seats so it's a 39 dollars course what payments do we accept we accept PayPal and any major debit or credit card. Now, when you go to the registration form, you're going to see pay with PayPal. Go ahead and click that button, but scroll down. It'll give you the option to pay with your debit card. If you have any trouble at all, just shoot me an email at info at panafricanalliance.com. Now, once your order goes through, I'm going to shoot you a call or a text. And yes, it's really going to come from me. Nothing automated. Letting you know that everything went through OK. And, you know, just to say thank you. And I appreciate it. I'm going to do that for all 60 students. And, you know, just take a few minutes to build with you because this is important to me. Some people have asked if you're going to get a certificate in the mail. And the answer is yes. I've spent a lot of time designing some really beautiful certificates. They're going to come on some really nice parchment. I'm going to mail them in a rigid envelope so it doesn't bend, doesn't fold. This is a certificate that looks so good, you will be able to frame it. It is a full color certificate printed on parchment. Now, here's the, the, the catch. You got to be in the United States or Canada for me to mail it out to you for free. Okay, so you don't have to pay anything for your certificate if you're in the United States or Canada. Now, if you're overseas, unfortunately, we got to charge you for shipping just because it can get so expensive. But if you're in the United States and Canada and you sign up and you complete the course, I'm going to send your certificate out to you. So, again, you don't have to attend the live courses uh, to get your certificate. So what are the dates for the course? Uh, the course starts on August the 4th. So that's going to be the very first session, August the 4th at noon Eastern time. Then week two is going to be August the 11th. Week three is going to be August the 18th, so on and so forth. Again, panafricanalliance.com forward slash enroll. You'll see all the dates there. Don't worry about remembering all of this because I'm going to be shooting you out automated emails that will remind you the day before that the course is going to be kicking off. So you'll, you're going to get a reminder and... Uh, uh, that should keep you on top of that schedule. So I think that's it. If you have any other questions, leave a comment below. Shoot me an email, info at panafricanalliance.com. Other than that, fam, I cannot wait to kick this off. This course took us about three years to put together. Us being the Pan-African Alliance of United Black America family. So much information here that you're not going to be able to find on YouTube. You're definitely not going to be able to find in the public fool system. And this is truly education for liberation. So I look forward to speaking with you face to face. Abibi Fahodier and Shem Hotep.